Hi friends, Zoe here. So if you've been following along with my vlogs, you may have come across my 30 before 30 video. And this is a video which I'll link below, but it is 30 things that I hope to accomplish before I turn 30. And one of the things on this list was to feel more comfortable with my body. So I've decided to share with you um, maybe a story or two and how I'm coming to be more comfortable with my body every day. So in the past, more so my teenage years, I felt very uncomfortable with my body. I was extremely self-conscious and I'd spend a lot of time in front of the mirror picking out things that I didn't like rather than picking out things that I could celebrate. And this was both uh, weight and features and I'll give you an example of uh, when I was younger. So when I was younger, somebody very close to me um, said to me, Zoe, your eyes are so weird. You look like a wolf, your eyes are scary and when you look at people, they get scared. And this was when I was quite young and I had never even considered the fact that maybe my eyes were scary or that that should even be a concern of mine. And after that I started to kind of develop uh, an insecurity around my eyes. And this insecurity followed me like even through when I was a teenager and I remember going to the eye doctor and every time I would have an eye checkup I would pick up those pamphlets with the different colored contacts and I would circle all the browns and the greens that I wish that I had for my eyes because my, uh, you know, my my mom and my dad and my brother all have green eyes and I have blue eyes. So I started to notice that there wasn't a lot of blue eyes around me, but there was always green eyes and brown eyes, and I kind of wanted to just fit in rather than to stand out. As time went on, though, I learned to appreciate my eye color and then shift my mindset as it to be something to celebrate that I'm different rather than to feel insecure or feel like I don't fit in. I think what really helped me to switch my mindset as a whole is to focus on my health rather than my body or what it looked like. If you can appreciate your body for what it is and what it does for you, you can shift your mindset and start to appreciate yourself a lot more and feel a want and a need to take care of it whether this be working out at the gym, eating more healthily, or taking care of your skin, or just appreciating your uh, inner and outer beauty, it all comes full circle and you can slowly learn to feel more comfortable in your own skin. A tip I have is that when it comes to, say, working out, try to focus on more positive words and a more positive reason as to why you're working out. Don't think of it as, oh, I'm going to get that bikini body. Think of it as more you know what, I love myself enough to take care of it and work towards being more fit and going to the gym every day because it's going to help my overall health. Don't try to focus on number on the scale, just go and make sure that you know you are working your lungs, you're working your body and you're strengthening your inner self when you do that as well because you're not challenging yourself to focus on a size or a certain look, you're just focusing on making yourself an overall healthier person and when you feel like you want to treat yourself to be a more healthier person you'll celebrate that time of going to the gym every morning say as oh I have a date with myself that I'm not gonna miss out on because I care about making myself a better person or I'm gonna feed my body really nourishing foods because I care about all the wonderful things that it does for me and I don't want it to get sick and when it comes to your features, if you're looking in the mirror and you seem to pick out something negative, make a very conscious effort to catch yourself. So for example, if you're looking in the mirror and say, saying like, oh, I don't like my nose, change your mindset and think, no, I love my nose. Whether or not you believe it at first, the more you tell yourself, I love my nose, I love my nose, the more it will just come into your mind subconsciously and you'll learn to love your features a lot more. Like I said, I spent a lot of time in my teenage years focusing a lot of negative energy on the way that I looked, uh, features and weight, and it was a lot of wasted energy and time. I could have told myself that I loved myself and appreciated myself, and it would have granted me a lot more of a positive outlook on life at that time. Things I would tell my teenage self. So I wanted to make this video just to let you guys know that it's something that I'm working on and I hope that if you have insecurities that you're making a conscious effort to work on them as well. Try to focus on, like I said, more positive words and you know positive self-talk because that is what will help you subconsciously and then consciously catch your own thoughts and create a more positive outlook on life and a larger overall comfort with your body. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe below and I'll see you again very soon. Bye!